Sometimes someone's story surprises you, makes you think about life and how precious it is. I met people like that in Tuscola who together are rallying around a young boy battling a rare disease. That's why Sarah Assumption and her team in Tuscola are tonight's Everyday Heroes. Take a trek through Tuscola and you'll find a determined young boy with a big heart. New territory learning about it, you know, words we'd never heard before, rare genetic brain disease, you know. Hannah Foreman is talking about her son Nash's diagnosis. It's called vanishing white matter disease, a terminal condition attacking the brain. It destroys the myelin in the brain, which is the white matter that sends signals to the rest of your body, so. Nash was diagnosed last October. Medical bills were piling up. So Hannah's friend Sarah is setting up a run. But what Sarah suggested was something that you have to show up for. So that made me a little nervous. <laughs> I'm not a runner. That made me nervous too. <laughs> but that is a passion of hers. Raising money, awareness, and racing for a cure. That is a passion of hers. So I said, have at it. You do what you want to do. You take the reins and let's see what happens. And it has grown beyond what we would have ever imagined. I run races all the time. And so, and I've always kind of wanted to be a part of that. So I thought, hmm, let's do it. Mm -hmm. And so I took all of my racing experience and threw it into this race to make it really awesome. And it's just exploded. What have all your friends meant to you through this? Um, they supported me. Yeah, they have, huh? When we were in the hospital. Remember what they did? Blue cards. Yeah, they did. And that was so sweet, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. How'd that make you feel? Happy. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, when this race happens, uh, and you see all of them out there, how do you think that's going to make you feel? Happy again. <laughs> Happy again. <laughs> Happy again. <laughs> Now they're running with a purpose, helping keep the town of Tuscola, Nash strong. Oh, that was fun. Now Nash's condition is terminal, but there is good news. The amazing thing is there is a first human trial right now uh, in Amsterdam for this disease. Yeah. Um, so as soon as we found out, we got in touch with them emails, emails. I went and got expedited passports. I was like, we are going to Amsterdam. Now, Nash wasn't accepted into the program because his disease isn't severe enough yet. Hannah says it could have been worse if he was denied because the disease progressed too far. They're expecting to apply again in the future. If you'd like more information on how to get involved with the run, click on this story on our website, WCIA.com. And if you'd like to nominate an Everyday Hero, message me on Facebook at Brandon Murano TV or send us an email at news at WCIA.com with Everyday Hero in the subject.